What you're seeing is a three-quarter mile wide target on a dry lake, 17 miles south of Wendover Air Base, Utah. The target's surrounded by 59 big craters, probably made by full-size mock-ups of the world's first atomic bombs, Fat Man and Little Boy. Hi, my name's Robert Marcos and I'm a Google Earth addict. I admit I am crazy about Google Earth. At midnight, while other people are falling asleep watching TV, I am on the computer searching for the wreckage of jet aircraft in the Mojave Desert. North Korean prison camps like this one near Kaichon. and bombing targets used during World War II. This one's in the Southern California desert, five miles north of Plaster City. If you're curious about old bombing sites in your neighborhood, check out a website called ProPublica. They have a fantastic article called Bombs in Your Backyard that lists over 40,000 sites here in the United States that were used at one time by the military. Most of these sites were never actually bases. The majority were temporary training areas used during World War II. My friend Sid and I checked out our neighborhood on the ProPublica map and found about a dozen old bombing ranges nearby. My favorite, Cane Spring, is just a few miles west of the beautiful Salton Sea. Remember, all bombing ranges are dangerous and you should not go into them. It's also illegal to trespass on active or former military installations. Eight months before the Enola Gay dropped the real bomb on Hiroshima, Colonel Paul Tibbetts and his men were busy flying practice missions out of Wendover Air Base, a top secret base located on the Utah-Nevada border. And according to Sid Burks, a friend of mine who spent a decade researching the military history of the Salton Sea, Tibbetts B-29s dropped 48 of those bombs at the Salton Sea test base, 34 of those bombs at Wendover's bombing and gunnery range, five bombs at China Lake, California, and two bombs at Murak Field, now better known as Edwards Air Force Base. But now you're going to see something that you've probably never seen before because using Google Earth, I discovered the targets of three of those top secret locations. This is a look at the old target out at China Lake. I guarantee you that the civilian contractors who work out there now have no idea that this place exists. This is the target at the Salton Sea test base. The telephone poles held up radar rigging, like what you see here on the Salton Sea's floating target. The rigging allowed the bombers to locate the target using radar, which was at the time brand new technology and highly classified. And finally, this is the target that I opened with it's south of Wendover Air Base, and it is 100% off limits. You cannot go out there because it's located inside the Utah Test and Training Range. The site's frequently used for the disposal of explosive ordnance, testing of experimental military equipment, as well as for ground and air military training exercises. And get this because this leads right into my next episode. The site has also been used to land NASA's planetary science missions, including pieces of a comet from the Stardust mission, solar wind samples collected during the Genesis mission, and pieces of an asteroid that will be returned to Earth after the OSIRIS-REx mission. <laughs> 